Hi, I'm Ruth, and I'm from Radio Heatwave. And so we're at the Music Matters Live, and I'm with Inzi Elisa, and she's all the way from Canada, and I'll be interviewing her today. So, um, how has your time been in Singapore so far? Are you able to adapt to the weather? I, it's yeah, really hot. It, it is really hot here. Yeah, um, I feel as though I've adapted. Mm -hmm. I'm not complaining, I guess, as much as okay. it was about being so hot, but. Um, no, I guess because I'm also from Canada, this mm -hmm. is just just a tad warm. But no, it's beautiful here, absolutely beautiful. I'm very happy to be here. When did you realize your passion for music? Um, a lot of people say like they realize they want to do music like as their like goal in life. Mm -hmm. um, like they they say that they started singing when they were like before they could talk. Yeah, <laughs> and so I don't want to be like cliche and say that mm -hmm. as well. But honestly, I started knowing that I wanted to do music for the rest of my life when I was about four years old. That's good. So, so and then you just never looked back. You yeah, I never looked back. I, I was dancing for a little bit before that. Mm -hmm. So um, actually, I knew I wanted to sing or do something with the arts or mm -hmm. Broadway. So I got enrolled into dance classes until I was about six or seven. And then when I was in grade three, switched to music classes instead. And then took those for about six years and then the past few years now have just been what I've been teaching myself and enjoying every minute of it. That's really good to hear. Okay. So what got you into writing your own songs and creating your own music? Did someone inspire you? Uh, my mom inspired me a lot and my uncles. Um, they were all very fine arts driven. Um, my mom used to be in a band, but sh um, she never really pursued that passion of hers because just life went in different ways. And then my uncles were also in bands and then they would write songs as well. So basically growing up around that environment and being inspired by my mom and my dad both to just push me to be the best I could be. So you were born in like a music yeah. kind of family? Yeah. Oh, that's really nice. Dad says he doesn't do music, but I've heard him play <laughs> a guitar before, so I think he might be lying. But <laughs> <laughs> Okay. You mentioned that you instantly fell in love with the song Kissing Trees when you first heard it, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, was it the lyrics or was it the tune that really caught your attention? It was a bit of both. Right. But okay. So, I wrote, um, I guess like in the past few years, a lot of more slow songs and yeah. ballads. So, the second that I heard Kissing Tree and like just, it, it was just amazing because like it was an upbeat song that I was yeah. immediately drawn to, which before didn't really happen that often because I was like drawn to the ballads, like I said. And the, then the lyrics just, they actually describe for once a happy relationship, yeah, yeah. which doesn't happen very often now in this day and age. So I just, a lot of different reasons for why I fell in love with it. Did the lyrics somehow, like, could you relate to it? I actually, I've never been in a relationship mm -hmm. before, so <laughs> I can't like relate to that aspect, okay. but, um, I, I definitely did relate to the fact and like how there was there's a part in the pre-chorus where it says I'm not saying it's going to be easy or it's going to be right and I feel as though that's like a big message now especially with like life in general like it's not always going to be easy it's not always going to be like the route that you expect with what you're doing right. but if you put your mind and your heart to it it will work out and I think that's kind of what the pre-chorus at least is saying yeah <laughs> okay, um, so will there be a music video for Kissing Tree? Would you want that to? That is a really good question. <laughs> I would love one. I would that love to watch one. <laughs> right? yeah. that, I that would think that would be really cool. I've never actually thought about it. But, but would you? <laughs> I feel like uh, if, if the time and place happened, I would totally be up for it. Yeah, I'll, I'll be looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how that would work. Maybe we just have like a tree in the video. Nah, maybe. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> What actually inspires you to write to start writing a song? So sometimes it's just like when I have a lot of emotions, yeah. it just like like if something um, we all have those moments where we just have something it just like breaks our heart a little bit and you can just like feel the pain and then I, I would write about that or sometimes like I've always been a very visual person. Um, I loved art as a kid as well and so I would think of these like creative stories, I guess. And I would create like characters. And I guess I never, I never really got out of writing like 
how, I, how do I say it? Like in sh you write short stories in English class. I would always do that. And so some of my songs, I imagine myself as in one of those short stories. So what a character would go through, that is what one song is about. Like I have an, um, one of my songs mm -hmm. and it's called um, Right Guy. And it's actually about a girl who is in a relationship, well, not in one yet, but she's <laughs> hoping to be with a certain person. And then um, she's saying to him, you're the right guy. And even though like you're on the wrong side maybe, and it doesn't look like it, the odds are in our favor, I th still think that we can make this work. So that was like a character in a story that I had made. And then it just turned into a song, I guess. Wow, that's really amazing. I think like when you're able to write all these relatable lyrics, I think other people will also be able to like Thank feel you. like the way you feel. And that's really that's amazing. That's really what I wanted. I'm not in music for like to be a name out there. I mean, sure, that will definitely have its perks and I would love that happened, but I'm in the music because that's exactly what I want to do with my life. It's the passion, it's the heart, it's the drive. <laughs> that's that's really good, yeah. Thank I'm you. happy for you. Okay, so um, what advice do you have for young people to aspire to be um, a musical artist like you? Oh gosh, um, never stop. Um, there are times where it will feel as though it's draining. Um, there will be times where sometimes you don't think that you are cut out for it, I guess, and that the music industry is so hard to get into. And in certain aspects, maybe it is a little bit difficult to get your foot in the door, but it's really about like your all your connections. You just have to, like, you, there's this thing that I like to say, is that talent will get your foot in the door, but character is what keeps you in the room. So I feel as though, as long as you're a nice person, you're a good person, and you believe in your art, you can do it. I totally agree with that. I truly believe that character is very, very important. Yeah. And the fact that you believe in that, it's, it's really great to hear. You could be, like, I, I would like to say I'm a very nice person. I would hope that I'm a good person, but like you could be the most talented person on this planet, but if you are not a nice human, no one will want to work with you. Yeah. You have to be full of kindness. And I think that's a super important thing. And it's unfortunate that sometimes that is now like a skill that some people have to learn. But honestly, yeah, if young artists out there listening or watching this, um, be a nice human believe in your music, just keep singing or keep writing or producing whatever you do with the music world yeah. and love it. Oh, that's really wise of you. <laughs> yeah. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, when you wrote that you wanted to be the voice of those who are being bullied mm -hmm. or who are facing struggles at home, um, that made me really think like, wow, you know what? She's so altruistic. And was there anything that caused this thoughtful and selfless mindset of yours? Um, so when I was in elementary school, um, I was bullied. And now it's, it's become a thing where the term, maybe it's just like where I'm from, but the term bullied, no one takes it seriously anymore. Um, they say, okay, well, everyone's been bullied. Everyone's been through that. And the saddest part about that is that is, it's true. Everyone has had hardships in their life and everyone has had to face adversities and it sucks being the person that when you feel like no one is there like to support you and no one is there to understand. And I feel as though I needed that person in certain times when I was growing up and kind of just want to be the person that my younger self needed. So if I can be that person for anyone out there, and if I can be the person that like helps others with their mental health, then I've done my job in life. So. That's, <laughs> wow, I'm, 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 I'm truly shocked. That's, that's <laughs> I mean, at 17, that's, 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 wow, it's such a, uh, so wise. And oh I'm, my I'm gosh, well, wow. thank you very much. <laughs> Um, are there any plans for any upcoming releases in the near future? I would love 
for that to happen. <laughs> I, I'm not sure. We're trying to decide right now what we, uh, I have like a couple of songs that I'm thinking of being the next single, but I'm not sure which one it is yet. Yeah. But when that happens, um, for now, I'm going to say early 2019, okay. hopefully. Might be earlier, might be later, give or take. I'm not sure yet. Depending but on your results? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So fingers are crossed, definitely. So hopefully soon. Well, um, everyone in Singapore will be looking forward to it. I would love so, that. Yeah. And I would love to be back next year as well. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Um, one last thing. We're just going to play this round of our rapid fire round. I'm oh, gosh. I'm going to ask you like, a series of questions and you just answer as fast as you can. Oh, this is stressful. Right, okay, so I'm already stressed. 17 questions. It's okay. <laughs> okay, so starting now. One thing you can't live without. Uh, music. Favorite song to belt out for karaoke. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Can I, can I say kissing tree? Sure. <laughs> sure. Okay. Something that there, that's always on your mind. Shawn Mendes. <laughs> Good one, though. Yep. <laughs> Favorite meal? <laughs> oh, uh, milkshake. Um, if you could time warp yourself into any point in history, when would it be, and who would you hang out with? Oh, uh, I would hang out with Marilyn Monroe. Okay. Yeah. Um, favorite era of music? Uh, for myself or any? Yeah, for yourself. Oh, well, this year. Okay. Yeah. Um, something you live by. Do, do right by others and they will do right by you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a film that you can never get bored of. The Notebook. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, biggest pet peeve. Oh, when people... Oh, I don't like it. When oh, <laughs> when people um, talk with food in their mouth, I don't. I can't handle that. Oh, yeah, it's I can't handle that. I, I totally agree. <laughs> okay, um, R&B or hip hop? Hip-hop. R&B. Early bird or a night owl? Both. Froyo or ice cream? Froyo. Summer or winter? <laughs> Fall. <laughs> <laughs> Movies or TV shows? TV shows. Favorite TV show? The Vampire Diaries. Oh, yeah. Okay. Vanilla or chocolate? Vanilla. Singing in the car or in the shower? In the shower. Okay, well, there you have it, folks. Um, that's the end of the interview, and we hope awesome. you enjoy it. <laughs> Thank you.